of the Leprechaun and welcome back to Hello Charlotte. Last time I oh god um <laughs> last time we ended by going through I'm trying to remember what his name is. The guy who's usually in a hazmat suit. A person in a lab coat came in, looking too young to be an executioner. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm Henry Huxley. Bennett? Yeah, that's his name. I know you're scheduled, f sken scheduled. Whoops. Uh, for disposal, which by lucky coincidence is today, but it's been cancelled just an hour ago, just when I signed the papers for your ownership. Sounds better than dying, doesn't it? I'd rather be dead, Mr. Huxley. Yikes. <laughs> is that sarcasm I'm hearing? Oh yes, they must have stopped giving you intellect suppressants, for they are not cheap. It would be a waste to give them to a defective specimen, am I right? Don't be so fucking rude. You know, I'm researching the eye plague. Yes, yes, the incurable eye plague. Which I am going to cure. And you, my dear, are going to become the face of my success. You see, it's the first time a bee type got infected. You're too valuable of the material. And in fact, that your specimen are most beautiful of all types. As you're, const as you're constantly used in commercials, so it wouldn't be an exaggeration if I said that you were chosen for a pretty face. And timing. Timing was also crucial. Just recently I've realised that I have less than half a year to complete my thesis, and that is a little troubling. Ugh. God. That's gonna be me. You madman. Yes, I am. Worry not. We'll become stars of the modern time. Science bless us. That marked the meeting. That meeting marked the beginning of our alliance. When people started dying in the name of science. Ugh. Hello? Huxley's utter lack of empathy for both overmen and men alike was the exact reason he was the most successful among his peers. He brought me different books. One of them was a dummy's guide to cooking. A, part, a good part of it was dedicated to cooking meat. If an animal dies in distress, its meat will be hard to chew, it said. Aside from regular intakes of soap, my diet consisted primarily of various greens and products high in protein, meat included. One day I decided to ask, What kind of meat is this? I inquired of Huxley, who was vigorously waving his hands in the air. As I'd learned later, he was using a VR environment to work. Of s- of s- uh, uh, Ew! Of C-type of your kind, I believe, he answered, not turning away from work. The greatest delicacy of our time, truly a feast of the gods. Feel like vomiting yet? He added, genuinely curious. No. I took another bite. The meat was incredibly tough. Ah! Yikes. That's grim. Yolo. Huxley brought me books and taught me reading and writing. He regularly tested my psychology physical capabilities, so I was kept in good physical form. He talked too much. He spent more time with me than he should have. Hmm. Oh. The day Henry Huxley cured eye plague was the day he told me to get into a body bag and declared me dead to the whole scientist society. What's happening? I asked. We're leaving, was a short answer. As it turned out later, researching the eye plague was just a facade. What Henry Huxley was actually testing were the capabilities of a human specimen, only to confirm that men and overmen were no different from each other all along. As he boarded his spaceship, he began quickly explaining that we are a threat to society, that he find a, found a cure for the eye plague long ago, and now he was only used it as an excuse for doing other projects, that we needed to find a new home. Which is why they came to me, I presume. We printed all the money we needed on the day we arrived into the house. And that's how we ended up living there. Memory end. Not yet. Is there anything? Oh, that's just back to side A. Okay. Whee! Very interesting. Yes. Hmm. I 
can just go to bed then. Ah! What are you doing in my room? Who are you? When I close my eyes... Oh, that's her. When I close my eyes, I feel someone's presence beside my bed. It's a man in a pitch black three-piece, smiling ever so eerily. Father? No, it can't be. Father wouldn't visit me on his own accord. Right, Umbrella Man? Fortunately, it's just as you said. As for this appearance, it's still my favourite to this day. I'm more likely to have influence over you if I look like this, after all. But let's pretend I didn't say that, shall we? <laughs> Got it. What brings you here? I've seen you collapse at school. Figured I would pay a small visit. How are you feeling? I'm doing okay. You know, I learned new things today. That the Pythias I met in their world were the ones who rejected the Oracle. I see. Well, it's true that initially Pythias didn't have a shared consciousness. Their land, Delphi, was rather prosperous back in the day. I'd say the society was one of the very few that successfully I adapted the ideas of communism. Ah, we wish. When the Oracle appeared, many thought it would make their world a complete utopia. You see, even a young Oracle is powerful enough to grant wishes. As long as it finds beings to form a symbiosis with, of course. Most of the Pythias wishes wish to be connected, to be understood by each other. However, most does not mean all. I know what most means. I am not a child. The war between globalists and individualists was only the beginning. However, not even the globalists fully believed that their wish could be granted, so it became twisted. Their tragedy is that their minds didn't become intertwined at once. No. The process was incredibly slow, crippling, excruciating. Imagine thoughts and feelings of other people around you creeping into your head, buzzing until you can't tell which thoughts initially belong to you. Imagine your own mind exposed to others. Your every embarrassing thought, every fleeting feeling. I don't like this anymore. Doesn't it feel humiliating? Constant headache, loss of privacy without loss of ego. The god we worshipped was the devil in disguise. That's when the second god hunt began, of which you had the look to catch a glimpse. But the process of becoming one indistinguishable mass with the oracle went on, until it consumed most of the population. However, they were still able to reduce their numbers to an astounding degree. They almost succeeded in destroying the Oracle, although it didn't mean them any harm. It's just how the Oracle is, you see. It's the failed expectations that made people violent. First, they welcomed it in their hearts, expecting, it, expecting to use it to make their world a utopia. But as soon as it disappointed them, they got rid of it. Personally, I find it extremely selfish. I see. It's sad that it ended like this. It always does end that way, especially among races that have concept of free will, just like you do. Those of our ki your kind are in constant need of something to worship, be it science, money, or powerful beings. Honestly, it's better to worship something that doesn't exist. Because fantasies never disappoint. Sorry, I hope I didn't use words that are too difficult to understand. Although, you're almost already a grown-up. Well then, sleep well. Bye-bye, Umbrella Man. Thank you for that depressing thought, just as I'm about to go to bed. I really, really appreciate it. I close my eyes. Good night, Seth. Good night, you small child. Oh, hello, we're at the piano. Hold on, I want to say first. There we go. Hello. We're playing the piano in four hands. Wonderful. You're getting better. Say, pray. Hmm? I was thinking of the story you told me the other day. Why did the paper princess let herself become so tinning? Isn't it toxic? Why, yes. Ink is poisonous. Then why? Because of love, of course. That's the only reason. It's the sole reason, in fact. It seems there is a fundamental lacking in your understanding of love, Miss Wiltshire. You see, the final and sole goal of love is the loss of individuality, the ultimate death of ego. To love is to sacrifice your ego in order to, f in order for two to become one, to mold your thoughts, beliefs, hobbies, and character traits into one. Mmm. 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 I 
disagree, but go off. That is why the paper princess became the same as the ink princess. They became one of a kind. Unless you're willing to give up your ego for somebody else's sake. You can't claim that you've known love. You know. I find the concept of l loss of individuality rather fascinating. For it requires the greatest sacrifice of all for an individual. Who am I? Looks like it's about time you woke up. I just went to bed. I just went to bed. Mm. Morning, Seth. Let's get up, go to school, and go back to sleep. Again. Let's warp. It's faster that way. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. Welcome to the Wolf Omni Cube. Yes. Here we are. To class. Henry is absent today. I wonder if something happened. Let's start our class. Today's a drawing lesson. Oh, I like drawing. You're allowed to draw flowers, landscapes, political leaders. You're not allowed to draw what you want. Are we clear? Class nods. What should I draw, I wonder? Flowers. I draw poppies. The class passes. It's lunchtime. Why don't we eat on the rooftop today? We can then we can check on the mad cats. Get food. Let's go get something healthy. Uh, cafeteria is this one? It is. I take some apples. They're quite cheap. Go to the rooftop. Uh, that's upstairs, isn't it? Uh. Library. Rooftop. Yellow. Oh god, it's you. Hi. You know what, before I talk to you, I'm gonna... I'm a safe. You make me nervous. See. The boy turns. I need to reveal her face covered in band-aids. No way. Have you gotten beat up again? As you can see. Well, I did refuse to take out the trash during cleaning duties. It's unfair. Why do they- Because he's a little bit of a weirdo. Why do they pick on you? Well, they must be disappointed in me. That's why they're upset. Furious. Because I'm a mysophobic god stuck in a human body. How can they worship me if I'm powerless just like them? Still, remember, I won't be in this vessel forever. In fact, I'm looking for a way to get rid of it. Ooh, let's do that, shall we? But it's almost impossible in the house, let alone the school ground. But I think I've finally found a way to go back. Who knows? Perhaps I'll return to my domain faster than one could imagine. So you're leaving soon. Everyone does leave, eventually. Anyhow, do you feel like joining me for lunch? Sure. Sit on the benches. I tell see about the oracle inside of me, about puppeteers and observers, the pythias and executioners. I tell him everything I know. He doesn't ridicule me. In turn, C reminisces about his past experiences and the worlds he's been to. You know, I remembered something today. A memory of another human vessel I used to have. It was in a land where half of mankind ascended and were blessed with a gift. The gift had left their planet and built a city in the skies. It was given the name of Ether. It was made pure white and those who lived I didn't read it. My gift was to call cell apoptosis, so everything I touched directly withered away the next moment. Ah, oh, So he's kind of like Shigaraki from My Hero Academia. I see. That was how my mother died. Right after giving birth, she cradled me in her arms. That was a fatal mistake. Those with gifts as dangerous as mine were kept in isolation from civilians, myself included. So the only thing I ever interacted with was a virtual parent and a few other devices. I was afraid to touch living beings. C closes his eyes as if trying to remember something else. Sadly, as far as my current memory goes, I cannot remember further details. It must have been lonely. Loneliness is a human emotion. To a god, it's a virtue to experience it. I see. I see. Well then, when I'm continuing my research. 
See you later then. Goodbye. Can I move, please? Please let me move. Hello? I should go feed the mad cat, Seth. I bet they're waiting. Let's go back down to the first floor. Wow, it's almost impressive. I'm actually guessing the uh <laughs> the right floors today. Uh, we don't need that one. Garden, yes. Oh, I don't like that it's dark now. That's giving me anxiety. But I think it's more than just beheaded. God, it's been a while since this happened. Why are you healing me? Ew, don't throw your bowels at me, you freak. What the hell? Thank you. Leave me alone. And just like I know it's just like a healing thing if I lose social points. Ah, not stop it! Yeah, me too. You don't have to fight me. Don't do that. Thank you. Get out my way, I'm busy! What the fuck is that? That is not a mag cat. <gasps> oh, oh my god! They died? They're all dead. Someone puts a hand on my shoulder. I barely feel his presence. Pets aren't allowed here. You knew that, didn't you? So nobody is responsible for what may happen to them. I played with these mad cats. I fed them. I gave them food. I tamed them, Frey. Yet I couldn't be there when they needed me most. I... You're the Oracle, Frey. Can't you do anything? I was the Oracle, Miss Wiltshire. Everything that defined me as the Oracle has perished. I do not bear memories of my past, nor do I possess extraordinary powers. Therefore, I'm the Oracle no more. It is you who defines me right now. However, it still greatly exhausts you. If you use even a pint of my energy consciously, your life system will collapse, just like the last time. And returning dead back to life is no laughing matter. As long as you reject me, we will eventually drain each other and perish. When we merge, however, we shall obtain great power. The question is... Are you willing to give up your ego for the sake of someone, or die an individual? Think about it. I'm afraid we'll crouch beside them. Poor little things. Let's give them a proper burial, shall we? That's really upsetting. Hmm. Before we start our lesson, there's an announcement I'd like to make. Yeah, we know. Oh shit. The cat's moved because of food poison. See, junk food is incredibly. especially containing xylitol. Please. Be. It can't be, it can't be. Their death it was all my fault. No, oh, no, no. It's because they were hungry. Because Henry told me to. It's because Seth decided to feed them. It's because I was made to do this. <sighs> Does she look okay? I knew it. Wiltshire killed those cats. Cat killer. Oh, I don't know. No. Oh, no, it's. It's not like that. Ugh, stop it. I just wanted to help. Stop calling me that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh. 
Pain kept flowing out, making me unable to catch my breath. I choked on my own words. It's all my fault. I wake up in tears and snot. C's face hovers above me. How are you feeling? Not so well. I've been better, I have to admit. Why are you here? You don't remember? I carried you here. Oh, I've caused you trouble. Even though I know how much he hates dirty things, I... It's okay. As I thought you became targeted because of me. But don't worry. I found a way out. Let's go. Where to? What's happening? I found a way out of the house. Trust me, it'll be okay. There'll be no guards, no classmates, no routine in the outside world. No one will raise a hand against you either. But what if we don't like it out there? We'll go back, right? Right. We will. I doubt it. I have doubts. Well then. I'm afraid we can't waste any much time. Let's go. The elevator to negative 1F is activated on this floor. That's the floor we need to get to. All the doors are open for me, so getting further won't be a problem. Be careful not to alarm the guards. The moment they find us, it's over. Heck. Well, I would very much like to leave them. <laughs> Look at C's. Look so cute. Okay. Uh, this place looks deserted. Are you sure it's okay to wander around here? Don't worry about it. Let's look if we can find shelter. Uh, find a shelter here. Huh. Interesting. Hello? Ah! Welcome. Oh, customer, you seem troubled, I can tell. How about I sell you women's rights with 10%? <laughs> sell me the... <laughs> okay. You'll get gender identity rights as a free extra. I mean, who wouldn't? Or would you prefer freedom of speech? If you give up your rights to life, you can get many other ones from the points you earn. <sighs> Let's leave. Okay. Oh. Can we go in this one? Hello? No? Okay. This place is very strange, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Can I please go? Oh, that door is open. Hello? Huh. Brian. Oh, welcome. We have everything you might ever need. Let's see, let's see. Anti-procrastination socks. Ooh. Anxiety easing protein milkshake. I like the sound of that. No? Then how about panic attack prevention band-aids? Nifty rights. What do you think? How about I give you a member card? membership card as an extra? Sorry, we don't have any money. Why did you even enter the shop? Dumb teenagers. I don't get paid for wasting time on you. Get lost. Ugh. Yikes. Someone's in a bit of a... Can I get to this one? Well, I can't get over there. Definitely not. Okay. Uh... Hello? Something's wrong. Well, it says religion on the entrance. But no matter how I look at it, it's just a department store. Oh, silly customer. Did you really think there was supposed to be something else? The religion of modern age is capitalism and banks are its churches. Anyhow, do you need anything you don't need? Wow. I don't have any cash. Sorry. Not a problem. The money altar is over here. <laughs> what? The altar, the ATM. Don't tell me you haven't heard of it. Ah, now I see. Sorry, we really don't need anything. Thank you for your service. Come again, I'll be praying for you at a local bank. Please don't. Oh, there's some more over there. It, is it a pharmacy? No, no, you've got it all wrong. Welcome to the shop of knowledge. Did you know? Knowledge is a product to be sold. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Nobody cares about that anymore. Everyone's starving, hungry for information. New, old, hidden, forgotten, second-hand knowledge. It's... Uh, I've got it all in these pills, but you're minors, so I can't sell you any. How about distilled knowledge, orange-flavored chew of the tablets instead? I think we'll pass. Thank you for your time. How about... No. This shopkeeper looks surprisingly normal. <laughs> Wait until they suggest you living food. Sounds promising, although I don't have my wallet with me. Um, we've been there. Now what? Do we leave? Can't leave. I've 
been to every shop that I can go to. Can I go up there? Oh, can I go up there? I'm gonna save before I go up there. Actually, before we go up there, I have run out of time. So, thank you all very much for watching. Um, I will see you next weekend for whatever I'm playing. Who knows? Probably still Dream Talia. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps give it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. I'd re really appreciate it. So, yeah. Bye-bye.